Сестра! Сейчас же! Six fifty. You're slowing up, kid. You do realize you're gonna kill yourself if you keep that up. Helps me relax. Never seen a man so relaxed. I'm gonna hit the showers. Hey, uh, how about a drink later? Depends on what time I can get the realignment done. nice shower if you cared as much about your job as you do about your running maybe we could all go home early don't panic Ken I'm on to it it's coming through now it's not bad Jace but still not good meeting tonight. Can you look after Maddie? I thought I was picking her up on Saturday morning. I know. I just found out about this. It's a last minute thing. Thank you. I'm really busy, Maddie. Well, so am I, Jerry. Otherwise, I wouldn't ask. I suppose you have more pressing engagements? Oh, well, she can stay at Sophie's place then. No, I'll take her. No, don't do it if you don't want to. No, I do want to. I just need a little bit more notice next time, okay? We'll be there in 20 minutes. And you'll take her to school in the morning? Yes. 8.30 and no later? Yes. Fine. Mm. Gerald, we have come to the end of another totally unproductive day, and I think it's time for some heavy drinking. I can't, Paul. I haven't finished the alignment. Hey, I can wait. It's our favorite. And Maddie's coming. Margaret changed the schedule on me yet again. Wives, huh? Well, ex-wives. Either way, you can't live with them, you can't shoot them. Catch you tomorrow, then. Sure. How are you doing, little Missy? Fine. Hey, what's this? When you look at that. I always knew you were a little sweetie. There you go. Thank you. You'll spoil her. Oh, you can't love kids too much. Love won't fix cavities, George. <sighs> right there. Oh. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Hi, Daddy. Look, Jerry. Sorry about this. Oh, I love getting Maddie. I just need more than 20 minutes notice. We'll work on that, all right? 
And you, I'll pick you up after school. Huh? Have a good night, darling. I love you, mommy. I love you, mommy. Hi, Maddie. Hi. Hi, Stephanie. This is a beautiful horse. It's a giraffe. Look at the spots. Well, it's a great giraffe. Do you like my new signature? Signature? Yeah, look. See? It's an M and then two A's. Matilda Ash Anderson, M A A. That's very clever. That's actually what they call a monogram. What's that? What's that? Oh. Listen, I got some work to do, so why don't you draw me a picture till I'm finished? Okay? Daddy, you promised, remember? Hmm. Did I remember? Let's see. Where's that? I don't know. Is that it? I'll see if I can get a little closer. That's my school. Wow, that's me. That is so cool. Wait till I tell my friends. Uh, uh remember the deal? Top secret. Huh? All right, I gotta go finish my work. Be good, okay? Coordinates 00345 by 442.25. No worries. Stand by. Daddy? Hey, honey. My picture won't print. I'll be there in a minute. I'm almost finished. Okay. Let's go home. Get your bag. Can we get pizza? Saturday night is pizza night. You know that. Can we get a horse? 
của chị I don't think I've got room for a horse. A Take a look at them stars, will you? Everyone in that building is staring at colored pictures of the world that looks like a bucket of oil being poured into a creek. But out here, you got the full glory of nature. Night, George. Night, Mr. Anderson. Night, Pumpkin. She's gone. She's not up here. So, I guess that means she's somewhere around here. <laughs> Aha! She must be in my office. Hmm. Can't seem to see her. I wonder. <laughs> you gotta remember not to leave your foot sticking out. <laughs> Off the bed. People stop believing you. And then when you really want them to believe you, they won't. Well, I think they should have. Well, maybe they should. <laughs> Sweet dreams, I love you. I love you too, Daddy. Mm. Daddy? When are we all gonna live in the same house again? I don't know, sweetie.
What the hell are you doing?
God, Jerry, what's going on? I need your help. Yeah, come on in. Uh, go upstairs. There you go, honey. Off to sleep. Are we all right? Of course we are. Snug's a bug in a rug. Now go to sleep, baby. I might have killed one of them. I mean, he, I, I tripped and he tripped and he fell down the stairs and cracked his head open. And there was a guy with a switchblade. I ran over the car. I, I, I didn't mean Jerry, to, but... the police will be there soon. Now, Helen can look after Maddie, but I think you and I should get going. I'll just, uh, get changed, huh? Yeah. There's a third guy. A guy in the van. Jerry. It's going to be all right. Well, he's not here, but uh, th there's a dead guy inside. Come on, I'll, I'll show you. Let's see. The body was right here. It's gone. Mr. Anderson? Please, take a seat. Look, Mr. Anderson, we can't find any sign of a break-in. Everything looks pretty normal. Upstairs, downstairs. No, no, this is not normal. My, my place is never this clean. There were intruders, at least two of them. They were searching my office. It was trashed. My office has found nothing to indicate that. Look. When I caught them, they attacked me. One guy tripped, fell down the stairs, cracked his head, and blood was everywhere. The other one must have cleaned up afterwards. I'd never seen these men before. No. You think they were looking for something? I told you they were searching my files. What sort of job are you in, Mr. Anderson? I'm a geologist. Satellite observation. Listen, we'll send a forensic team around and see if we can find anything to support your story. Story? What do you mean, story? Don't mean anything. I'm just saying we'll send a team in to try and corroborate what you've told us. But talk to my daughter. She was there. Sorry, we're late. It's okay. Daddy, will the police find them? Yes. And then they'll lock them up and throw away the key. It's for your work. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. Is it a horse? Daddy. Give me a kiss. I'll call you later. Stay away from boys. Hey, Jim. 
What's going on? You weren't the only break-in last night. Somebody killed old George. It was a robbery, not much. Three computers. It looks like he disturbed them. And, uh... God, they killed him for three computers. Sorry, folks, we have to clear this area. Okay, all personnel, head outside. We'll take it from there. Mr. Anderson, could you wait back a moment, please, Jerry? Sure. I'll catch up with you in a minute. Yeah, okay. Mr. Anderson, small world. How are you feeling? Well, a bit shaken. Well, at least you're in better shape than that poor bugger out there. Anderson, what time did you finish work last night? About 7.30, 7.45. Anybody else in the building when you left? Last person he saw was George. We. Oui. Well, I had my daughter with me. You didn't come back later? No. This was the instrument used to kill the guard. The handle's been wiped clean. Could you identify it for us, Mr. Anderson? Sure, Looks like one of mine. Look, the break in here and, and the one at my house, they've got to be connected. That occurred to me. Jerry, is it possible that during the night you came back here and uh, something happened, something maybe you didn't mean to happen, but it happened, and so you came up with this story about a break in at your house? That what I'm saying, Jerry, is. Uh, Maybe you'd like to change your story. Are you suggesting that I broke in here, stole three computers, and in the process murdered a security guard? What, I just made up that story about the breaking in my house? You're crazy. Are you accusing me of murder? We're not accusing anyone of anything yet, Jerry. I hope eventually we will be. Right now, we're just following up leads. Well, what about following up the leads on the attack on me, in my house? Did you talk to my daughter? Yes, we have. But she didn't see enough to corroborate your story. We'll let you know if anything turns up. Hey, you all right? No, I'm far from all right. First, they don't believe me about the break-in in my place, and now... They want to connect me to the murder and break in here. Oh, that is crazy. That's what I said. Jerry Anderson. Why didn't you call me and tell me what happened? I have to hear it from Maddie and the police. I didn't want to upset you. You didn't want to upset me? What were you thinking? I... Jerry, they are investigating the murder of a security. Well, I'm not involved in anything. This has nothing to do with me. Well, let me tell you this. Maddie is not staying at your place until all of this is sorted out. Hey, this is not... I can't talk right now. I'm late for an appointment. Jerry!
Meg, I gotta talk to you. I'm in the middle of a meeting. What the hell with your meetings? This is more important than your meetings. I can't talk about this here. I would never put you or Maddie at risk. Jerry, this is not about blame. This is about common sense. I have to put our safety first. No, of course you do. But that doesn't mean that... What is going on? I don't know. I mean with you. With me? Jesus, the police are asking me about your financial situation, about drugs. Drugs? I don't do drugs. You know I don't do drugs. They wanted to know whether you had a history of mental illness. Mental illness. What'd you say? I said no, of course. Do you think that... I'm an innocent victim in this. Meg, this is me. Jerry, your husband. Obsessed with land patterns, geological anomalies. I turned my back on Los Angeles so that I could be here with you and Maddie. Sit on the beach, loaf for the locals. I can't talk about this here. I'm with someone. Your client can wait for a few moments. It's not a client. I see. Is that your type? Does he know you're married? He's a colleague. Dipping his pen in the company ink. Well, Jerry, Melvin. Melvin. At least he shows up on time, and he's got charm. Oh, I can see the charm. I thought we were supposed to be working on our marriage. Are you seeing someone? I. Uh... I really should get back, Jerry. Take care of yourself. Where'd you get the suit, Melvin? What? Melvin. It's just so hard to find eighties retro these days. Listen, pal, I'm not some idiot. Oh, well, your secret's safe with me. I'm so sorry about Jerry. Would you uh, want to come back to my place? Um, I don't think it's a good idea. I have to pick up Maddie soon, and um, we're going to go away for a while. And you've just seen Jerry. Well, maybe. I'm sorry, Mel. Is this seat taken? Help yourself. Alone? 
You're on business with a few colleagues, the kind you don't want to socialize with. I understand. I, I travel mostly with colleagues, plenty of company, too much company. A couple months ago we were in Moscow and I just got sick of everyone. Sonia Hagen. Jerry Anderson. I work in Moscow. But you're not Russian. No, English. But I've worked there for the past few years. So, how did you enjoy Moscow? You want the truth? Please. The place I stayed was a cross between a Playboy casino and a two-bit store. They're trying their best to look like Los Angeles. So, where did you stay? The Manhattan Lounge. Strippers on the top floor, hookers in the foyer. And those sad little men selling medals from the Great Patriotic War and hits from the Bee Gees. Uh, the Iron Curtain came down and they're selling everything off for scrap. <clears throat> Can I get you a drink? Just as long as it's not vodka. Mm. Two beers. Now let me guess. Married with one child. Separated. Separated. Devoted to your... your daughter. Yeah. I would have got the separated part right too if you weren't wearing your wedding ring. It's a fairly recent thing. But you're right about my daughter. There's a quiet garden bar just up the road. Not so noisy. Sounds great. Perhaps I should drive. Very responsible. Long story. Why don't you try me? I'm telling you, it's the same guy that broke into my house. I barely escaped with my daughter. I thought I ran the guy over with my car. You planning on doing business? Oh, I'm just a little nervous. You don't believe me. It was probably just a burglary. Why would these people be after you? I've been trying to figure that out myself. Maybe we photograph something off of a satellite. You think that's what they want? It's possible. I'll be right back. So who's we? McQuillan. The company I work for. I think we photographed something we weren't supposed to see. Like what? I haven't figured it out yet. Does that sound believable to you? It would sound believable in Moscow. But not here. 
You don't strike me as someone who would lie. Thank you. Uh, you're the first person to say that. I, I'm really, really grateful. I wasn't sure if you were who you said you were. The gun. I see. So you think I'm some sort of spy? Well, I'm sorry. Uh, I should. I should go. Where can you go? Perhaps you're a spy. Me. Perhaps you're not who you say you are. Perhaps I should go through your wallet. Ah, uh, I'm afraid there's nothing more to me than meets the eye. Oh, I don't think so. You know, it is very sexy when a man lets a woman take the initiative. Now, this will help you speak the truth. It's all very simple, Jerry, but it's very serious. Where is the file that was sent to you from Moscow last night? You've got to tell me where the file is, Jerry. Did you copy it? Did you print it? Where is the file, Jerry? I had a lot of files. I don't, I don't know about any files. Okay, Mr. Anderson, let's see if your little pride and joy can save your skin.
got what, Jerry? What if we photograph something off a satellite we weren't supposed to see? Ken, I was shot at last night. And then this girl drugged me and went through my briefcase. They think I got something, and they want to get rid of it. Jerry, the break-in here was a burglary. Computers were stolen. No. That's what it was made to look like. But it wasn't. Why do you think they robbed my house? We've been talking. Maybe it's time you took a break. You've been through a fair bit in the last 24 hours, Jerry. I'm okay. Just let me look at every photograph we've taken in the last month. No, I want you to leave. Ken, I want to get to the bottom of this. You're not well. I'm okay! Jerry, I'm officially asking you to leave the premises. Take a few days off, but Am I being suspended? No, of course not. All I'm saying is go home, have a rest, go for a run. Trust me, buddy. This is for the best. I'll take care of this. Is it? Jerry, it's me, Helen. Hi. How are you? Uh, not so good. Come on in. But Helen, why in God's name would I? Why would I break into Meg's apartment? She thinks you're going through some sort of crisis. So I just break into her place. She's really worried, Jerry. She's worried. What about me? I can't even go to the police. You believe me? Of course. Do you think I broke into Meg's? No. But she's scared. Jerry, Paul's going to take Margaret and Maddie away for a while. We bought this new beach house at Parkery Beach, and Paul thought maybe the girls could get away for a few days. Get away from me. Get away from whatever is going on. Jerry. I don't have to go with them. I could stay here. Maddie gave me this for you. Helen.
Hi, Daddy. Hi, honey. I drew a story for you today. I know. I'm looking at it right now. It's really, really good. It's not real or anything. It's just a story. I know. Mommy says I can't come over this weekend. She says you're sick. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've got the flu. I don't want you to go getting it. I don't care. I want to come. No, sweetie. Not this weekend. Anyway, you guys are going up to the beach, and that's going to be a lot of fun. I don't want to go. I want to stay with you. I want to have pizza on Saturday night. Mom will buy you pizza. She almost gets anchovies. I hate anchovies. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. But I'll be seeing you soon. Really soon, I promise, okay? Okay. I love you. I love you too. Bye. Bye. Have a nice... Nice trip. Hey, Maddie. You ready for the trip? are on holiday. Shit. Oh, Mr. Anderson. Going somewhere. Jerry. What do you want? More precisely, who? Unfortunately, she's not here. Heart-rending little comic book is. Well, six pages of it. So you're one of them. Sadly, Sonia is not one of us. Watch them. Leon speaking. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry you've been dragged into this, Jerry. It's a DNA code, isn't it? A mutated version of smallpox. To buy a terrorism, this is the holy grail. We're talking plagues of biblical proportions. You think I'm involved in this? Someone set you up. Someone who knows the Mafia can and will sell anything. The Mafia? The Russian Mafia. These guys? They're just renter thugs. Think, Jerry. Who did this? Someone clever. Someone close to you. <laughs> If these men find Maddie. Oh dear. We better call the police. You have another body on the floor. Yeah, you know, I think we'll leave this one here. Hey, you got a vacuum cleaner? Always remember to buckle up. Mm. Just relax and breathe. Leave him for ten minutes, then I'll strap the body.
She looked like a stunt man from a road movie. No. Let's go. <laughs> about it, mate. your style. Thanks. You know, I was kind of after a, a global welcome. Got the Italian marble, got the Japanese vase. This table is antique Irish pine. And the mirror, the mirror is French, 18th century. Nice. Come on, I'll show you where you're going to sleep. All right, now you two can bunk down here. That's oh, lovely. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Helen and I will just be down the hall, but um, why don't I show you the view? Paul, Maddie's in real danger. I don't know where you guys are, but as soon as you get this message, you have got to call me on my cell phone. Well, I decided to live the rest of my life as a Renaissance prince. And this is the Medici Palace. This is what I want someday. Who says that money can't buy happiness? <sighs> I'm trying to track down a business partner of mine. Yeah, he just bought a place up around Parkery Beach. Paul Burton. Paul and Helen Burton. No? Okay. Hello? Yeah, I'm uh, trying to track down an address for a friend of mine. What's the matter, Maddie? If Daddy's sick, we should be looking after him. Oh, sweetie. soon. We will, darling. We will. Come down to the beach. See if you can find some treasure. All right. Nope. No. Nope. I tried them. No. I tried them, too. No. Nope. I've tried everyone. Thank you. No. Nope. Thank you very much. Damn it. Ah! Ah! Maddie's upset. She feels like we've deserted Jerry. Would you ever leave Paul? Only if I met someone else.
scan this security. Chase, Jerry Anderson. Jerry, they tell me you're on leave. I was, but they said they were short staffed, so what could I do? Well, for a start, you could tell them to shove it up their collective ass. Yeah, I should have done that. Hey, listen, I need you to dial me up some coordinates. Yeah, hold on a sec. Okay, stand by. I need 0121.553. And 144.8. Here it comes. Thanks, Jace. You're welcome, Mr. Anderson. doing here. Jen, I have to tell you. I quit. Hey! Well, do something. Front gate from Delta One. Code red. I repeat, code red. Pete's sake, I'm catching myself. You know what? I'm gonna go into town and get some supplies. Can Maddie or I help? No, you stay here and relax. Uh, I got a few things to do. I'll come. Sure. See you soon. Sleeping with Jerry Anderson. I know.
Fellow rap, is it? God. Tank, your guess will be worth more than your car, mister. Just fill her up. Bloody Americans. Tourist. The murder was reported earlier today. Police are looking for this man, Gerard Roderick Anderson, age 37. Anderson was last seen driving. <laughs> Excuse me? Turn around. Get out of here. I said, turn around. Oh, God. What do you want? Run, Betty! Run! Betty? Betty, it's all right. Nothing to be afraid of. Maddie? Maddie, it's just a game. It's your turn. Now, now, wherever you are.
喝他。Leon, I've got the whole thing, sixty pages, and they're uh, under control. I understand. That's what friends are for, Jerry. Like I said, Jerry, 
I'd take care of this. <laughs> you know, none of this would have happened if you and Maddie hadn't been hanging around the station that night. <laughs> you and your damn jogging. What? Oh, hell, Jerry. Every man has his price. The world is is full of willing little bioterrorists with big checkbooks. Moscow. It meant more to me than vodka and satellites. You. Well, at least I won't have to pay these guys. Too bad about that Sonia. She was cute, but problematic. How do you think you're going to get away with all of this? <laughs> you know, you're taking good care of that, buddy, and I thank you. Turning up here, that was the master stroke. <laughs> it's perfect. You see, I knew that you were going crazy. I tried to keep Maddie and Margaret away from you. I brought them up here to protect them, didn't I? But sadly, I couldn't stop your rampage. You shot them both before I could cut you down. <laughs> it's better than perfect. Estranged husband kills wife and daughter. It happens every day. But no, it gets even better. The ultimate poetic brilliance of the whole thing. I get to kill the bastard who's been fucking my wife. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell hath no fury, Jerry. <laughs> Never said anything about shooting me. Never said anything about that. It's over. Jerry, I'm sorry you had to go through this. Well, I suppose it was a tough one. We don't always get it right. Every now and then would be nice. We'll need a statement. Monday. I'll come in Monday. Right now I'm going to take my daughter home. I found you guys. Your signature. Daddy, it's a monogram. I stand corrected. <laughs> uh, I, I believe it's my weekend. Bye, darling. Bye, Mommy. Daddy, can we get pizza? 
Well, it's Saturday night, and Saturday night is... Pizza night! <laughs> Can we invite Mom for pizza? Meg! You want to join us for a pizza? Get anchovies. Well, how can I refuse? Come on. Come on. У них как плотник армия, две штуки. Нет, большие жирные грифоны, смотри. Да, и у них были жир... жирные грифоны. Чего они куда-нибудь все, все проходили, железные? Давайте сюда. У вас нужно вперед поставить, потому что это странно, как тебе горячливо. А мы будем по бокам стоять ждать. Кто-то идет там. Может, медведи напали на этих на воинов света медведя. Ну, давай используем что-нибудь. Давай, что мы сделаем? Этот самый. В это же линии сделаем все. Ну давай. Силу света? Да, силу света. Насыщение силы. Все. Так, кто к кому? Мы медведем сразу будем бить. Ну да, они же к нам близко сидят. Одного хоть побили. Ну и то раз. Сейчас придут на эти. Грифоны. Нападать будут. Ну, все они на этих нападают, смотри. Все равно грифончики. Еще грифонов бьем или они а от этих прицепит, потому что. Грифоны. Грифонов там бить не получится, потому что. Эти нам мешаются, да? Ну давай. Ну видите, это не надо. Ну работаем. Так, кто же я перетоп стрелял? Если стрелять, он мешает. А кто не стреляет? Эти. А там еще странные медведи сидят в уголке. Так, давай одного медведя долбанем. Ну, Втор... Второго или грифа? Да, давай грифа добьем уже. Ну, 
Грифончик посмотрим. Ну, это снова будет, папи. Грифончик. Да да убили. Ну, Джиди еще один. Куда они лезут? Он дрался, как я ставлю. Это вот долбанули одна. Давай уже это используем. Давай этим огненным лучом убьем. Долбанем вот это. Дужой. Вот это костер стреляет там. Вот добьем медведей или грифонов уже или, или этих медведей будем бить. Давай этих медведей ну, давай, сами... да, да, ну, да, давай. Да, чтобы не мешался. Чтоб ты делал на перегонки. Да. Грифонов тут мало. Грифончик. Или пару потом можно забить этого грифона. Так, что там, кто у нас еще? еще робит. Погиб, колесо. Ну, скорее бы нам добраться до тех, чтоб их поймать. И не сейчас будут строить из пятишка бить, что говорит. Гады. Ну, вот как ты... Ну, мне их мать ей бы ему дал бы потихоньку. Что тут уходит -то? О, то можно по медведям строить. Падают. Они живые. Что с этим будем, будем делать? Пусть ждут сюда. А, они что-то могут еще. Давай по, по медведям. Вот сгорят. Надо, надо ему сгореть. С этим медведем. На кого бы туда дать их? Одного медведя. Ну, хорошо, что одного медведя побили. Ну, давай тех мадей дома не мучают. Бадыш. Стоят там, стреляют, да? Как медведи. Еще одна. Грохнули. Два медведя у нас такие. Учат. Вообще много народу. Да мы можем легко их побить. Если бы камешков не взломали. Или же бы. Так, медведя. Надеюсь, что он будет делать. Да, вот как сейчас. Ну, мы ждем, его этих медведей уже побьем, они нам не нужны. Ну, хоть одного смотреть могу. Да у нас толпа здесь народу. Мы его быстро побьем. Он уже не сможет нас добить. Пойдем тех бить. А мы давай их мади еще раз поменяем. Ух, сидят в уголке. Уголки. Доставим, ну нет, он до, до них отсюда нет. Не, не остается. Если бы еще на, на, на тот ход пойти. Да. Они сами, сами идут, а сейчас мы быстро. Сейчас сами начинаем. Зря это не так. Потому что мы, мы поднимемся с зрением. Да, они будут быстрее. Какой очень медленный. Когда идут, так уже застрелят. А давай еще раз долбанем. И еще может этот выстрелить, смотри. Вот 
Да, мне надо дать бар. Снега. Может, отсюда надо доставить? Точно доставить. Ура, победа! Победа! Ура! Победа! Мы все победили, что кто-то стирал на пост. Наковы рухнут. И свобода. Встретить роды снова входа. Так, где у нас? Может, мы переоденемся в одежду? Пере перемещалка. Давай одежду будем. Надо переместиться сначала. Куда? Где, где это все? Вот она где. Узнать. Я же что в порт это все такое. Найти украшение огня. Подраться в убежище Седрика, вот нам сюда надо переместиться. Переодеться будет. Запомнила куда? Сюда. Вот сюда. Древние склепы. Да, кто древние склепы? Угу. Давай переоденемся, а? Давай. Давай. Где одежда там сходит? В Ахмуте надо убить. Где в Ахмуте? Наверное, это в Ахмуте. Походит на бандит теперь? Ну, походит. На бандит. Очень походит. Если бы у нас что-то еще было, чем можно украсть. Нормально мы пере... передались. Кроличья лапка. Ну, давай, если мы будем... Нам нужен такой щит. Если Это щит уже царя. Не бандита щит. Ну, все вроде все мы одели. Щит у бандита. Ну вот видишь, на бандита походим. Да, очень похоже. Угу. А куда нам идти сюда? Да, теперь нам вот туда надо пройти. Чтобы с бандитами встретиться. Чтобы бандит нас к своему. Говорю, пропустили бы. Вон, видишь, бандиты на встречу. Это бандит? Угу. Еще одна телега с ярмарки. Логово где-то рядом. Весела была прогулочка. В руках до сих пор болит. Неудачно. Вот. Тебе настоящий бандит. Так, тебе что-то не припомнит. Тебе что-то не припомнит. Катарина, лимонный щербет. Что? Бандит, что? Что слышал, Рожа? Что слышал, Рожа? Ты из деревенских, что ли? Ты из деревенских, что ли? Из молодых, из новичков? Из новичков. Из молодых. Из молодых, из новичков. Из новичков. Разве не, Разве не похоже? Не похоже? Ну, тролли вы. Ну, тролли вы имя. Ладно, а, Сыдер, веди кого принимать. Кого принимать. Открывай! Открывай, пусть, пусть проходит. проходит. Такой нелепый маскарад. Да? Ну, поверил ведь, идиот. Вот мы бандиты притворились. Нас бандиты пропустили. Внутрь своего бандитского лагеря. Я сказала из молодых. Мужичков. Большой владелец будет где-то скажи. Наворовали-то они все золото, драгоценности, кучу. Ну подожди, туда, туда, ты я там что ли золото видела? Туда, там золото. Вот ты же там не видела это. Еще какой-то один. 
плюс 70 получит по магии нам новой не дали не помню кто это такой так мы еще так мы оттуда пришли же да надо в другую пещеру заходить где другая пещера? Вот сюда. Эй, нарывайся. Наверное. А может, с этим надо? Эй, угу. эй, вы же не из этих? Я вас видел в башне мага недавно. Тише, юноша. Тише, юноша. Вроде бы как-то как, 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 должен понимать. Слушайте. Слушайте, я, я маг, маг тьмы. Ну как маг? Еще только послушайте. Ну, Может, я кое-что знаю. Я тоже кое-что знаю. Кое знаю. Что? Бандиты не, что? не знают, Бандиты не знают на чем себя ведут. Это древняя гробница лежит чародейство. Здесь только по цепи чуть-чуть и пойдет. По цепи пойдет, что пойдет? Пойдут духи неупокоенные. Это можно будет использовать против разбойников. Духи нападут на тех, кто осквернил это место. Нужно только провести простейший ритуал. Тут растут черные цветы смерти. Посложи гробницы в одной из пещер. Дальше все должно пойти само собой. Ты кажется, не особо в курсе подробностей ритуала. Как нам на лекции говорили, что запомнил? И это цветы найти и возложить. Они что ли черные? Да, черные. Я не могу дать никакого выкупа. Тебе и видно. Да будет весьма вероятно. Черные черные цветы не бывало красоты. Спрет она не вот здесь. И теперь хочу я их забрать себе. Я таких как ты. Я еще крот вижу. О, они стоят. Черные цветы видишь. Растут, конечно. Это интересно. Видишь? Там надо Вот еще такой цветок. А, может быть мы пойдем в пещеру? Нет, все. И... Всем спасибо за внимание. И... Всего хорошего. Пока, пока. Можно мне что-то сказать? Угу. Мы завтра будем продолжать нашу игру. Всем пока. Всем пока.